All right, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast from August 11th till August 18th. Before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, we're going to be looking at our precipitation forecast first things first. And you can see for the Pacific Northwest through into Montana, into the Dakotas, and then down into Nebraska, Kansas, and some of the Great Lakes states, we do have above average precipitation in that first shade that lighter shade of green, you probably won't notice it too much. But in your medium shade of green or that darker shade of green that extends from Idaho into Montana, into the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota, that'll be a little bit more noticeable as we are going to have a pretty decent storm that's going to move from Kansas, Nebraska into the Great Lakes area and some of those states like Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. You, if you did catch that video I posted yesterday, I talked a little bit about that one. Now, we're also going to have an a below average precipitation area from the four corner states into Texas, where we have that really big heat wave going on right now, into Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, all of those Gulf states, Florida, Mid-Atlantic, Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, into New England. We're all going to be seeing slightly below average precipitation. Again, this won't be too noticeable. And you, again, you probably won't notice it as there is going to be some rain as this is only slightly below average. And with it being summertime, you know, one thunderstorm hitting your area that drops a lot of rain could really change this for a few local areas. So this is kind of a broad forecast for this time of year. But overall, these entire areas will most likely see on average below average precipitation. Now we're going to move on to our temperature forecast. This is where a lot of interesting things are going on. And to fully understand this, you're going to have to stay tuned for the special note segment of the video, especially for the Texas area, as things are going to get pretty interesting over this seven day period. But we're going to start in the West here, slightly below average temperatures there for California, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, into Idaho. And then we have that medium shade of blue. Again, that's where it'll be a lot more noticeable for Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota. Those areas are going to be pretty cool compared to normal, but we do see that slightly below average temperature area extend through the entire northern United States into Minnesota, Great Lakes, and then into New England. Again, if you're in that lighter shade, you might not notice it too much. It's only going to be probably three degrees below average to five degrees below average. So if your average is 85, it's only going to be 80. So you're still going to feel pretty warm. If you are in that medium shade of blue, though, you will see further below average temperatures than that. And that is already a pretty cool area in the United States. So you're going to feel temperatures that are probably seven degrees or more below average within that region. Now, for your above average temperature section, you can see that extends from uh, New Mexico into Texas, Oklahoma, all the Gulf states, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, southern Illinois, southern Indiana, southern Ohio, West Virginia, and then some of those southern mid-Atlantic states like Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, all these states are going to be slightly above normal temperatures. And again, if you're in that slight region, you're only going to be about three to five degrees above average. So you're not going to notice it too much. If your average is 85, you're probably only going to be about 88 to 90 degrees. So it's not going to be too noticeable. It might be for some areas, but not too noticeable, most likely. Within that moderate shade of uh, orange or red, we will be seeing noticeable temperatures though as you're going to be about seven degrees above average or a little bit more that's the area where we have this ridge or high pressure system going on what i call the death ridge and what a lot of people are already calling the death ridge uh this is creating very very far above average temperatures a lot of people were like oh it's texas it's already hot uh what do you you know this isn't anything special well it is pretty far above your average temperature so it is actually something very notable and it is it is something we see time to time, but it is worth mentioning that it is very, very hot in these regions in Texas and Oklahoma. Just ask anybody in the affected region. It is extremely hot within this area. If you are in Texas, go ahead and comment and let us know what it feels like outside right now. Uh, I'd be interested to hear that. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our special note segment of the video. Uh, this is one of the more useful segments of this weekly forecast uh, series because I think that this is kind of an interesting, interesting thing to show that you can't really find from many other sources where I kind of break down the week and show you guys what's going to be notable going on over the seven day period. Obviously there might be more things that show up later in the week that I wasn't able to see a week out, but this is what we see so far. There's going to be a severe weather event that's going to be ex 
you know, over the next three days from the 11th, 12th, and 13th. On the 11th, it's going to affect mostly Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, Missouri, and Iowa. And then on the 12th, it's going to affect mostly Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Kentucky, West Virginia, areas like that. And then on the 13th, it's going to head into the Mid-Atlantic and affect mostly Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and possibly even some of the southern New England states with some severe weather. So that's that severe weather event that we're going to have that's going to be going on. It's it's going to be pretty slight chance. It's enhanced today, actually, for Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, areas like that. But I think it's going to be a slight risk for the 12th and the 13th. So it isn't, it isn't like an outbreak or anything, but there will be severe thunderstorms in these areas over the next three days. So I thought that was worth mentioning. Here's your second uh, special note, and you can see that we do have extreme heat again for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, mostly heading in towards the 14th for those more eastern regions. But it's going to be very hot over the four, first three days of this, of this forecast. So the 11th through the 14th, we are going to be having extreme heat in this region. Pretty much all the areas within that shade of pink are going to be 100 degrees plus uh, over the you know all of these days most likely. But you know you might be in the upper 90s some some areas over some days. But there is going to be a lot of areas that are you know closer to 110 degrees, and that's where we talk about the very extreme heat. So pay attention to your temperature forecast for your town or city because you know, it could get very dangerous. Bring the pets inside and, and just try to stay cool because it's going to be very hot. Drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. Dehydration is no joke, guys. It sucks really bad. Trust me. A lot of you probably know if you live in that area from personal experience. Uh, we have our special note number three here. Heavy rain for a lot of these regions, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, into Pennsylvania, New York, we're going to have very heavy rain. Again, I talked about that in yesterday's video. We are going to have a pretty decent storm heading across the United States over the next, from the 11th through the 14th. It's going to make its way mostly through the 13th, but the 14th, there could be some lingering showers going on. So I, managed, I just extended it to the 14th, but we are going to be dealing with these heavy, heavy rains and the possibility for flooding. So again, pay attention for flash flood warnings and, and fl uh, flood watches and things like that because a lot of these areas could be dealing with that over the next few days. And again, floods are very dangerous. People tend to underestimate floods, but they are just as dangerous as other things that you know happen with severe thunderstorms or severe storms. Uh, flooding can you know, get into people's houses. We've seen it before. Just because it's not always dangerous doesn't mean that it won't be. Basically, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get at here. We're going to move on to our fourth special note, and this is a good uh, good news one. This isn't kind of anything scary. This is good news here for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, as I just got a text. Sorry about that, guys. We do have some relief heading for you guys from the 14th and beyond into the 18th. This won't be, you know, it won't be cold. It won't even be cool, and it might even be hotter than warm, but... It's not going to be 110 after the 14th, thankfully. Uh, we will see temperatures heading, you know, probably going to be cold, you know, 5 to 10 degrees cooler than they were before the 14th. So, and I think that the warm up is going to kind of linger in some areas, especially I think in western Texas. We do have the chance for a little more lingering, but definitely in eastern Texas, there's going to be a pretty decent cool down. It's going to be most particular on the 14th, and it's going to be slowly warming up after we get past the 14th, I believe, but it isn't going to be as hot as it was before the 14th, it looks like, for a lot of these regions. Uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, I'm happy to tell you that there will be some relief from the Death Ridge, and things are going to start, you know, getting a lot closer to your normal temperatures. I know it's still going to be hot, but there is some good news. It will be a little bit cooler and hopefully some precipitation is coming your way. I don't see any in the foreseeable future, but hopefully we will see some after the 18th, some precipitation had you guys away. Cause I know it's been very dry with this death Ridge as well. That's been kind of another factor of this, not just the temperatures. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this weekly forecast. Again, I I think this is my third one since I've brought these back. I hope you guys really enjoy the weekly forecasts as I think they're very, very useful. And they're one of my favorite things to make for this channel, actually, because I think it's one of the things that makes it special. Uh, it's something that I don't see any uh, anybody else doing, really, like a weekly forecast video, just breaking down the week, just as if it's a seasonal forecast or a monthly forecast. I'm breaking down the weeks for you guys, and it's a little more short range, so I'm able to give you guys a little more information on that. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys, and have a great week as well.